Bernoulli's law of large numbers. Now let's see, consider a random experiment with only two possible outcomes, that is success and failure. And let P be the probability of success, which remains a constant for all the trials. Consider N independent trials of the experiment. Then the Bernoulli law of large numbers states that for epsilon greater than 0, probability of more or less x by n minus p less than epsilon tends to 1 as n tends to infinity. Now you can see that the statement is a very huge statement. Uh, but if you study it such a way that you will, uh, I mean there is an easy method to study this. You have a lot of information in this statement, no doubt than information and you memorize the statement. Now the statement, uh, if you view the statement, yeah it's, it's huge. But the proof is very simple. Since you have studied Chebyshev's inequality, with the help of Chebyshev's inequality, we will prove this statement. That is, we will come to a point where we, we will prove that the probability of this term tends to 1 as n is large or n tends to infinity. Now from the statement we got certain information like x is a random variable that possesses only two outcomes and what was the two outcomes? Success or a failure. Now for me it's clear that x follows a binomial distribution. Right, so when x follows a binomial distribution, what is the mean of um, x in p and variance of x in pq? But um, see, our variable over here is what? We know in our statement we have an inequality and that inequality was something uh, what concerned with x by n. So I am going to consider x by n. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the expectation of x by n, also the variance of x by n. So when I take the expectation of x by n, what I get is 1 by expectation of x, which is equal to 1 by n into, you know, what is expectation of x? n t. So from that, I get expectation of x by n is what? p. What about the variance? That is equal to that is sigma square is equal to variance of x by n. I take this 1 by L, since n is a constant, I take that outside. What I get? 1 by n square. Now, please don't ask me how I got 1 by n square. This was something we discussed in the first module. So, into variance of x, which is equal to 1 by n square. What is variance of x? n p q. Right. Which is equal to, you have this n and n gets cancelled, you have pq divided by n. So, again your sigma is equal to what? Root of pq divided by n. Now, what I am going to do is, I am going to apply Chebyshev's inequality to your random variable x by n. Okay, earlier I am going to apply, apply this Chebyshev's inequality to x by n to random variable x by n. So let's have a look when I apply that. See I have written the chip shapes inequality. I have written the second inequality over here. Okay. So probability of x by n instead of x x by n minus mu. Mu means what is the expectation of x by n? P. P. Uh, modulus of x by n minus p less than or equal to t into what is sigma? root of pq divided by n then greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by t square right now what i'm going to do is this implies now this is um, equation number one now i'm going to choose this or i'm going to consider t is equal to root of n by t to epsilon this as equation number a okay now I'm going to consider this term and I'm going to substitute this A in equation number 1. So when I do that I get probability of modulus x by n minus p less than or equal to instead of t what I'm going to do is instead of t I'm going to write root of n divided by pq into epsilon multiplied by root of pq divided by n. Okay. 
greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by instead of t uh, instead of t square I am going to write what yeah what I am going to write is uh, n by p q the whole square epsilon okay now this you can write it as what p q by n p q by n epsilon okay I hope this is right fine which implies probability of more or less x by n minus p less than or equal to epsilon greater than or equal to 1 minus p q divided by n into epsilon right so as you can see when n see in your statement it is said that when n tends to infinity this whole thing tends to 1 so it is true n is in the denominator when n tends to infinity this term this particular term gets cancelled and what is the remaining thing which implies when n tends to infinity what happens probability of more or less x by n minus p less than or equal to epsilon tends to 1. 